Greetings friends and fellow aliens, and thank you for tuning into this video, the third video in a 10 video series about cognitive distortions, distorted ways of thinking, terrible stuff that we do to ourselves, and we just need to get past our own shit. <laughs> no, there's no other, there's really no other delicate way to say that. The last video was on overgeneralization, one of my favorite cognitive distortions. This next one is on mental filtering. Think of what a filter does, right? Like a coffee filter. Nobody wants to take the grounds of the coffee, throw them in a mug, throw some hot water at it, and just guzzle that down with all the grit and all the coffee stuff in there because that's just gross. If you do that, you're a savage and like, I don't really know what to think about you. I did know a person that would break open his tea bags and just let the like Lipton too, just like all the stuff and just let it like float around and just like kind of like chew on some of that at the end. And like, that's just gross. Filters exist for a reason. You have an oil filter in your car. You have a filter for your coffee. You have a water filter. So you're not drinking trash water all the time with all sorts of chemicals and whatever else that they throw in there to control your minds. I'm not gonna get into conspiracy theories, I'm just saying. So filters keep things out. Mental filter is no different. The problem with a mental filter is it creates the most pessimistic thinking that you could possibly bring into yourself. A mental filter, sadly, filters out all the good and lets the negative through. Imagine a filter and events in your life land in this little filter and all the good stuff just kind of gets thrown in the trash and all the negative stuff drips through. Now, obviously you can see how this is gonna be really, really bad. This prevents you from having gratitude for some of the simple, sweet things in your life. And it focuses, it hyper-focuses on all of the negative events. Take for instance, a date night, right? You're on a date with your partner. So you go out to eat, you have a lovely time, right? You have a great conversation, the meal is fantastic, you have a nice drink with it or whatever else, like everything, everything is falling into the into place right the person who's uh, the, your your server at the restaurant is just like charming everything is like it all works out it's a beautiful night you walk to your car and there's a ticket on the front of it because you parked stupid and now you owe the town 25 bucks mental filtering is calling that night a disaster because you got a ticket it's filtering out all of those good things and hyper-focusing on the negative thing. And then you let that linger and metastasize. And then days later or weeks later, I don't want to go out to eat again. Last time we went out to eat, it was a disaster. No, it wasn't. You had a beautiful conversation. You had a great meal. You bonded and you had an amazing time together. Just because one single negative thing happened does not trash and spoil the entire thing, right? So cut that out. Cut that part out of it. Let the positive stuff through. Change your filter, flip it over, right? So the negative stuff just goes away and the positive stuff goes through. But you don't wanna to go to that extreme either <laughs> because everything is an extreme. And if you start to do that, well then you start to excuse all kinds of negative behavior from people and focus on that one positive piece of behavior. Well, they said something nice to me even though they were an asshole 95% of the time. That doesn't make it okay either. So mental filtering is that that thing, and sometimes we do it to protect ourselves. Sometimes we do it because we want to remain remain naive to some of the things that are going on around us. When it gets really, really toxic, is when it starts to prevent you from seeing anything good, and seeing any positivity in anything, and just becoming an overall very pessimistic person about all of the things that happen. Because then, no matter what that good thing is, you're going to ignore it because you want to focus on the negative thing. Listen, I said this in one of the prior videos, negativity is a disease. They've actually done studies showing how negative comments get passed around more, get said more, and grow more, right? It, you just you don't need to go any further than looking at something like Yelp for, for reviews. It'll take 10 people with a positive experience to leave one review that's a positive review. But if 10 people have a negative experience, you're probably gonna see five to eight negative reviews. We love negativity, right? As people, it's just something that happens because negativity 
is actually contagious. And that's what some of these studies have found. And so you don't want to be somebody that spreads that kind of pessimism. Now, I'm not saying that you need to be walking around on a daily basis, throwing daisies into the air, skipping, frolicking, singing little songs. No, that's probably going to irritate a lot of people too. But you can protect yourself and not let all of those negative things that happen color everything that you're doing and taking away some truly positive, beautiful moments that you may have. Pay the extra 25 bucks for the ticket. Forget about it. Laugh it off. Make it a comedy thing. Well, we had an amazing night. Something had to go a little wrong, like just like us. But this was incredible and this was a great night and we should do it again, right? That's the more healthy way to think about these things. So are you a mental filterer? Mental, mental filterer. Are you a mental filterer? Do you filter out the good in favor of the bad? If you do, let me know about your experience below. I'm really curious to know if some of you do these kinds of things. If you hyper-focus on the negative thing and sort of ignore some of the things that you probably should have some gratitude for. Look, we all struggle with these. No harm in raising your hand and saying, I do this, right? So let me know in the comments and I will see you for the next video in this series, which is on... Ooh, the next video is going to be mind reading. One of my favorites to talk to INFJs about. My fellow Padawans, I'm about to bring it to you. So check out that one soon and the rest of these. If you haven't already, please consider joining this channel. We got all sorts of fun stuff going on and I will see you very, very soon.